Now, the same idea about values also come into political leadership. Values help to unite the people. And people can live well in a community when they share the same values. So I want to introduce to you the values that uh, I, I like very much. Uh, and uh, they are the values that some of them came from the values I used to build up a big organization. Uh, the first value is the value of honesty. Now, honesty uh, takes two dimensions. One is we have to be honest in how we charge our customers. It's all right to charge a customer for the service you provide. And if you provide premium service, it's all right to charge a bit higher because these are things valuable to the customer. But do not overcharge. Do not deliver less than what you are charging people for. Okay, that's honesty. But honesty also has another dimension. And that dimension is the, to be honest in telling the truth. Now, in, everybody makes mistakes. Even with your customers, you make mistakes. Just be quite honest. Don't try to hide or distort the truth. Just be quite honest. The second value is the value of fair, fairness. Now, I want to encourage in our society that we should be fair. You see, some of us are better off. We are better educated. But other people are not so well educated. So we should be fair uh, in the treating other people. Uh, who are less well off, uh, treating them well. Uh, of course, uh, I believe that uh, people should be paid for the work they do enough to raise a family. So in our competitive world, some people are not earning enough. Uh, so I say it's not fair. So uh, fairness is important. Fairness is also important uh, when some people are bullied by other people or in the last two years uh, some people were misled into uh, bad investment they lost their life savings uh, although it doesn't affect me uh, i said uh, hey i must help them where i can now these are all the spirit of fairness Uh, the, the third value is the value of to be positive. Uh, the value of being positive. And uh, I'm a bit worried uh, that too much of our society worry about what can go wrong. Not enough people think about what can go right. And I want to encourage uh, whatever you do, anything that you have, there's always two sides the positive and the negative. And I just say, uh, of course, you have to make sure it doesn't go wrong. But don't make that your entire preoccupation. Also see uh, if you can get things right, how much better it's going to be. Then you are willing to, uh, to make the change. The fourth value is the value of courage. You know, when I uh, decide to stand for presidential election, you know how many people tell me, Mr. Tan, be careful. Be careful, you will get into trouble. Uh, you, these are the things that can happen to you. If I listen to them, I won't stand for election. Because there are a lot of things that you can be quite scared of. Uh, okay, so you need the courage uh, to do and let me say, uh, I didn't get into trouble. Uh, although I talk a lot, I didn't get into trouble. Okay? Uh, so you need the, the courage uh, rather than uh, 
uh, let all these uh, fears, uh, courage. Uh, of course, uh, I spoke at Hong Lin Park with a few help of a few friends. Some of them are here, uh, and we try our best to uh, speak on behalf of the people that lost a lot of money. Most of them are old folks. Uh, many of them are Chinese educated. It's their whole lifetime saving. And the money was almost gone during the financial crisis. Uh, of course, I do get uh, a lot of uh, warning to be careful. The things I do, I might get into trouble. But I say, never mind. Uh, if I really get into trouble, the police they already call me up. Uh, then uh, I will talk to them, but they never call me up. Uh, okay, so I think you need some courage to do uh, uh, to do what needs to be done. No discretion. Many decisions need to be made by people who act honestly. Now. I am able to make decisions, right or wrong, but I'm honest. That means I'm not making decisions to enrich myself. I'm making decisions honestly because I think it's the right decision. And if I make a mistake, honestly, I say I make a mistake, I'm going to change. Now that is what gives you the courage to be different. Uh, because you trust your own judgment, you are basically honest yourself. If you are honest, you can trust your own judgment. You make mistakes, doesn't matter, acknowledge it, and you change. So this is what I think is necessary for Singapore because uh, we have got these obstacles. The obstacles of not wanting to take responsibility. Always somebody else will take care of. Next one is, uh, I dare not make a decision in case it's wrong and I'm caught in the precedent. Next one is, uh, we cannot trust people, so we must write all the rules clearly. There are many things that have to be decided based upon trust, but you need honest people. And I think we promote the concept of honesty and we trust people. They will make some mistakes. Life is like that. Uh, mistakes will be made, but they can acknowledge it and improve. And then my fifth value is the value of public service. You see, uh, in order to build a better society, a better country, uh, you must have leaders. Some of you may not know, our government leaders in Singapore are paid a lot of money compared with government leaders in other countries. Of course, uh, the benchmark is our government leaders must be paid equivalent to the CEOs in private company because they are doing similar jobs. But that is based upon the commercial sector. Uh, but if you say, uh, but we need people to be in public service, people who are willing to just earn enough but not to be very rich. So I want to say public service is an important value. Of the problem we have is the fear of taking responsibility. So when a problem comes, most people will say, this is not my area, it's another department, another agency. It's called finger, what is that, pointing to other people. So I say, uh, Sometimes uh, we need to have 100 fingers so we can point to other people, not to ourselves. Now this uh, thing called uh, not taking responsibility uh, is uh, quite a serious problem. Now, many people approach me for help. They find that I'm very different. They got a problem, I try to, I take over and I, help them as best as I can. Sometimes I can't handle this, but they know that I take over and I ask somebody else to help find a solution. So it means you take responsibility, 
because that person needs your help and uh, you have if you can't handle this you pass to somebody else many singaporeans are very well educated they learn about the law the law says precedent if you do now if you approve this you must approve every time so better say no now they, there's no such thing uh, about business decision if i make a decision and it's a mistake i don't have to repeat it because every decision is based upon its own circumstances and judgment there's no certain thing called I dare not do it now because I set a precedent for the future. So this question about uh, precedent uh, uh, is also what causes people to be very rigid. They dare not take a decision because they are afraid they create a precedent.